Hey Hi. guys, Albert. Ian here. We're back. Uh, another <laughs> Facebook Live. If you guys aren't sick of hearing us talk, we're going to talk some more today. So this will be good. I'm rocking my original Dubois Dream hoodie just to remind myself is where it? this where this started. Whoa. This is the TVT one that oh. I, I put together way back when. You got the dreamy one on, which is a great one as always. So we're going to dive right into some of the stuff we got coming up here because I think I want to start first with the PBL Championship Series because that's April 10th. That's going to be finishing up our PBL season, and we'll just kind of take it from there. I mean, I know you're probably excited to see the playoffs and kind mm -hmm. of see this thing wrapped up, your first yeah. kind of minor league basketball season during a pandemic. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, I can't wait to, like, go, you know, take on the other teams again and yeah. just, just, yeah. It'll be showcase-esque is what, what it's going to come down to. We got the Rock City Lions first. We're going to be playing them. That'll be another battle. And then the winner of that will take on Toledo. And then uh, we'll have another semifinal match. And then the winners of those will play in the championship. That'll wrap up PBL season. Again, we got a season done during the pandemic. We may have another game this weekend away. Obviously, as you guys know, with some of the restrictions, it's tough to know for sure what's going on. But we'll be heading on the road. But the biggest thing that I'm excited about this week, I mean, I love playing basketball, but it's the AAU youth basketball season. And I know you're going to help out with that as well. Mm -hmm. But coming up here, AAU youth basketball, starting up tomorrow. 515, we have our 12U girls uh, kicking us off. I mean, it'll be great. We're going to do some uh, practice and evaluations. Then we'll get into the 14U girls and high school girls, all wrapped up in one day on a Monday, do some practice evaluations, get some more info. I know some people are rolling in as far as, like, you know, who's going to be added to our list. And then also on Wednesday, we'll have the 12U boys, 14U boys, high school boys. We'll be doing some more evaluations on Wednesday, getting some more information down, starting up uh, – Developmental practices after Easter. We'll get some practices in with our 12U, 14U, and high school groups before Easter. After Easter, we'll start tournaments for those groups. And then after Easter, we'll start the developmental groups. So anything you're looking forward to with that group? Um, I mean, I'm just excited to, to see all the you know local talents mm -hmm. you know, who, who, that we're able to, to recruit. Because I know um, even not, not, not just in Dubois, even like the surrounding towns where yeah. they have um, you know kids coming in. So I'm just excited to see... Um, the local towns and, and obviously um, have some fun really yeah it's just I mean that's what it's all about as you saw even with the camp before mm -hmm. our game against Lancaster was it's about the kids about the community and you know this is just building our organization even more and helping people along so I mean I can't wait to get after it uh, with these with these young ones it's all about development all about helping them move on and move forward and that's something that we can provide I mean it's going to be different playing with our PBL guys and getting to work with some of our PBL guys um, just continue to up the level of basketball in our area, and that's definitely what we're trying to do. So that's what we got on that that agenda. We don't have too much to talk about tonight. I know you and Matt have yeah. had some fun with Dream Talk. Anything on the list this yeah, week for Dream yeah. Talk? Yeah, so um, we'll come back on Tuesday at 7 again. Uh, me and Matt will have our uh, weekly Dream Talk, so um, make sure to tune in for that. And, I mean, we, we're just actually looking for some engagement with, with, the, with the fans, so... Um, you know we can see again we can see the comments live and so uh make sure to tune in and you know come chat with us tune into some more dream talk it'll be good matt ian doing an off, off, uh, awesome job with with this stuff taking our dream socials to the next level write-ups everything in between so really appreciate you guys um hopefully coming out with some more merchandise we'll be getting some uniforms ordered for the kids hopefully tie that in with some merchandise Spring weather comes out, we'll have some more community events. And as you saw the teaser coming out there, we got a nice basketball hoop on a bus. <laughs> more to come on that one, just a little teaser for that one. But it's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, just, just stay tuned. It'll be something good, especially during the warmer days that we can get outside and interact with the kids and community again uh, and, and support some good causes. Yeah, I can't wait for the warmer days. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. They're almost yeah. there. We had some good sun today. Yeah. So, um you know, other than that, you know, if you guys want to stick around, we, you know, we're looking for some more helpers, some more coaches, different things like that with our AAU youth basketball, as well as with our team. Um, plenty of opportunities around here. I know you've been talking to some interns, different mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. Anything standing out to you? Just, I know the remote work is definitely helpful, especially during this time. But Right, right. I mean, for anyone who's interested, I think it's a good experience just to work um, with the dream not not just i know that the pbl season is wrapping up but um what i kept bringing up is is the aau stuff and i think that's really our focus because yeah. uh, what, what we're trying to build is kind of like a european system yep. and so that will be a 
large focus of ours and so being able to to you know help build that i think is going to be huge yes. and bring in the different um experience that i know some of the, some of the guys that i've talked to can bring you know like coaching aspect or or even being being an athlete themselves yeah um it's gonna help a lot so yeah i mean if anyone's interested i know our email is down there so get in touch um we're happy to bring you on board yeah i think it's gonna be a lot of fun if you want to stay at the forefront of way the way things are trending it's mm -hmm. having that european style from you know like i said four years old all the way up through you want to be a part of it we'll be starting up those practices starting up our aau youth basketball you know, definitely keep in touch. We'll be sending out follow-up emails here tonight as far as the AAU youth basketball schedule goes. Um, obviously, it's a moving target. Plenty of parents and schedules and stuff like that. I mean, like I said, I'm wearing this hoodie just because to remind myself of where this started as a tournament team, now having 160-plus signups already in our youth basketball program, going through our fifth minor league basketball season. It's just, you know, obviously adding great interns like you, Ian. I mean, just continue to grow the dream, and I think it's only bigger and better things coming. So yeah. any final words For you got? Sure. Uh, I mean, I don't have too much to add other than just stay tuned to our socials, and we'll have more stuff coming to us. Yeah, so... Keep staying tuned. Appreciate you guys' support. And uh, as always, dream big.